Here at home, it is really tough working in this heat, whether you're a human or perhaps a canine cop. And thanks to a big donation, the Oak Park Police Department has some new technology to make things safer inside its canine cars. As Nick Monticelli reports, the most useful feature, though, isn't even inside the vehicle. Good morning. Are you guys ready for school to be out? Yes! Yeah. Any canine officer will tell you there are two main parts of their job, helping to keep their community safe and... What do you find? Show me. What is it? Putting smiles on the younger faces in their communities. Officer Mike Kodakowski has been partnered with Mace for close to a year. He is Oak Park's first ever canine. And Officer Kodakowski will tell you there is another facet of his job many of us don't think about. The unit that controls my car, it's all safety features to keep him cool um, or warm in case something goes wrong mechanically with the car. Inside of his patrol car are several safety features, all for Mace's protection. Most significantly, temperature control. And if it gets above 90 degrees or colder than 32 degrees, um, we'll use the hot, for instance. If it gets too hot, the AC will kick on higher. The siren will sound. The horn will sound, the lights go off, the windows drop down, and then a fan kicks on. Now here's where things get connected, so to speak. All that equipment is great for canine mace, but the new part of it, the donated part of it, is all through cell phones. The officer can monitor his partner even if he can't be there. The donations came in memory of Officer Bill Shuttleworth, who retired from the department in 1999. The money went to Project Paws Alive, and in turn, they bought a new feature for the car wireless connectivity through an app. The backseat temperature is 70.8 degrees, batteries fully charged, the car is running. So now one partner will always know how the other is doing. Yeah, I mean, that's our biggest concern. Unfortunately, you know, there's been numerous circumstances where canines have died in the back of cars because of mechanical failure. So, um, you know, if you're in court and you're a mile away from your car and your, and your siren goes off, and your lights go off, but you're not there, what good is it? So now at least I'll be alerted from wherever I'm at. Los. In Oak Park, Nick Monticelli. Mace. Los. Local 4. There is a monthly fee for the service, which is about $170. Officer Hodakowski is hoping for donations to offset that cost.